There are many desert biomes in the world, but today we will take you to see the Sonoran Desert. The Sonoran Desert. Experience the unforgettable. The Sonoran Desert is located in North America and covers parts of Arizona, parts of California and the United States, and the northwest Mexican states of Sonora, Baja California, and Baja California Sur. The Sonoran Desert's location is at latitude 25 degrees to 33 degrees north and longitude 105 degrees to 118 degrees west. There are a few abiotic factors in the Sonoran Desert. The soil in the desert tends to be alkaline or basic. High surface temperatures create rising hot air currents. These currents, however, can lead to plants dying. More rain falls on the Sonoran Desert than any other desert. When it rains, the desert is damp and the air is cool. When it has no rain, the desert is really dry and really hot. Finally, many tornadoes or sandstorms move across the desert floor and they most often occur in hot weather. The Sonoran Desert consists of more than 2,000 different plant species. The barrel cactus has pulps, which helps it to defend itself from animals, prevent water from evaporating, and protect itself from the sun. It is also able to store a lot of water in order to survive. This tree can photosynthesize through its green bark, which is important because it drops its leaves during the warm season. Palo Verdes also drops their stems and branches to fight drought. The roots of the saguaro cactus are only a few inches deep in the soil, so it can soak up as much rain before it evaporates. It also has a spongy inside layer that helps distribute water in the plant. Its outside skin is pleated, so when more water is absorbed, its outside can expand to make room. The jumping chola has a thick covering of spines that shades the plant from the desert heat. They also prevent animals from eating them. The stems are separated into two segments that store water and allow for photosynthesis. The prickly bear cactus is covered with spines to protect it from animals and also provide additional shade. It has waterproof skin that helps to keep water in. The jackrabbit's large eyes are placed back on the head so he can see in front, behind and overhead at the same time. This helps them watch out for predators. Also, its large ears help them to keep cool. The blood vessels in their ears expand to allow the blood to cool before re-entering the body. The javelina live in a large family group. This way they can protect each other from predators. The desert's big horn sheep has been able to adapt to the environment by using two different ways of cooling themselves, perspiring and panting. The western pipster color helps it to camouflage with their cave. It has a pale yellow or grayish to reddish brown color on the top and a whitish color on the bottom. The Harris antelope squirrel has been able to adapt to hyperthermia, so it is the only small animal to be seen during the hottest days of summer. The mule deer's ears are big to help them to listen for predators, while their color helps them to camouflage. The northern jaguar is a strong climber and excellent swimmer, which helps it to survive in the desert. Between 80 and 120 jaguars live in the Sonoran Desert today. Habitat fragmentation and poaching have nearly eliminated them from their northern range. Also, they have been killed by cattle rangers because of livestock predation. The Sonoran Desert's ocelots favor areas of dense desert scrub, where their spotted coats offers excellent camouflage to protect itself. This animal is mainly threatened by loss of habitat. The Jaguarundi, also known as Otter Cat, is an excellent swimmer, which helps it to catch excellent fish. Although its fur isn't highly sought after, the Jaguarundi is at risk through general deforestation and loss of natural habitat. The lesser long-nosed bat has a special adaptation. They are nocturnal, which helps them avoid the heat and also enables them to feed on nectar from the night-blooming plants. These bats have a long tongue, which enables them to better reach inside the flower for the nectar. They are endangered because the floral resources they depend on when they migrate are being eliminated by the wildland habitat conversion and fragmentation. Rural, rural residents mistaking these bats for vampire bats have also targeted their caves for destruction. In order to help these endangered species survive, we are protecting their habitats permanently in nature reserves.
Mutualism is a symbolic relationship between two organisms in which both organisms benefit from the relationship. The Cenita moth depends on a single plant species, the Cenita cactus, both for its food and for a place to lay eggs. The Cenita cactus is equally dependent upon the moth, which is the only species that pollinates its flowers. Commensalism is a symbiotic relationship if, in which one organism benefits while the other is neither harmed nor benefited. The fringe toe lizard living in a rabbit hole benefits from the shelter, while the rabbit has moved on. Parasitism is a relationship in which one organism benefits while the other is harmed. Desert mistletoe extracts nutrients from a desert willow. When the mistletoe grows and requires more nutrients than the willow can provide, the willow tree dies. This is a food web of the herbivores, carnivores, the composers, and the producers found in the Sonoran Desert. We have provided a variety of eco-friendly activities for you to enjoy this wonderful experience in the Sonoran Desert. The Sonoran Desert, experience the unforgettable. Venture into the wilderness with us for a chance to see deer, coyote, ocelots, bats, jaguars, lions, bobcats, and more. The wildlife safari tours at the Sonora Desert in Sedona, Arizona run only two times per day at 10 a.m. and at 2 p.m. The cost is $60 per person for three and a half hours. You will be taking on this awesome journey on an electric car. This tour is about sightseeing animals, though we may cross Runge terrain in search of animals in their natural environment. Not just a safari tour. Be ready to interact with your guide and teammates. We design a day of fun tasks and challenges for your members. It's more than a pleasuring ground for those who float the turbulent current in the Grand Canyon. We will navigate the Grand Canyon in two different types of boats, either a raft or dories. Both vessels hold four passengers and a guide who rows with a long pair of oars. They each provide an exciting adventure with major differences being in how they ride in large white water. The tour begins at 8 a.m. and ends at 6 p.m., where you can enjoy a breathtaking sunset by the canyons. The cost per person is $99, and we will provide you with all the necessary equipment and gear. This season, we are pleased to offer our guests a one-in-a-lifetime experience, riding a camel in the desert. For almost 4,000 years, humans have used camels as transportation over shifting desert sands between distant oases. With your own personal camel driver, you will leave for a safari ride through the Sonoran Desert at 2 p.m. and arrive at 3.30 p.m. Camel rides will open on August 5, 2011. The cost per ride is $6.99 and the tickets can be purchased at the booth located near the ride. One of the most recognizable land formations in the area is the Red Mountain, or as it is formerly named, Mount McDowell. It sits on private lands owned by the Fort McDowell Yavapai Nation. Arizona sunsets transferred the mountain's red sandstone into a fiery orange and rust color that can be seen from miles away. The mountain is protected and off limits to climbers and hikers. Though hiking the mountain would be a real pleasure, just viewing the mountain at sunset from Fountain Hills is a treat in itself. Considered among nature's most spectacular offerings, the Grand Canyon is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Located in the southwestern part of the Colorado Plateau, the Grand Canyon predominantly lies in Arizona. It comprises of layered rocks, cliffs, hills, and valleys. The desert itself can also be a natural attraction. You can see animals at different times of the year and people have noted it's a beautiful thing to see. The Sonora Desert, experience the unforgettable.